I have to say, 4.8 Livestream was one of the most anticipated live streams since you know the Notlan trailer at the end, and I can't believe it finally happened. The first nation ever to have no character model data or concept art data flying around on Twitter. Gotta give credit to Hoyo for that. Anyway, in this video, we will be looking at the official banners, small talks about 4.8, Notlan, skins, and whatever redeem codes I was able to get. I'll update the codes in the pinned comments. Also, I'm editing this video while the live stream happens, so script writing me hasn't seen the trailer yet. I'm sure the live stream is probably over by now, so how was the Natland trailer? Was it how you expected it to be? All right, then let's first check out the banners. A shout out to all the data miners for being correct all the time. In the first half, we have Navia and Nilu, and in the second, we have Emily and Yellen. I will be skipping these banners since, as you know, Natlan is bound to have cooler and more powerful characters. There was data talking about how the Dendro boy in 5.0 might need Emily, but you shouldn't really worry about it since 4.8 drops a few days after 5.0 beta, and the new character animations will also pop up with team builds and stuff like that, so worry about it then. That's all for the banners. How did you all like the new Karara and Nilu skins? I think Nilu looks gorgeous, and Karara is giving me the Puss in Boots vibe. Anyway, good skins. Sadly, and I mean we already knew about this, the map in 4.8 won't be the Golden Apple Archipelago. Instead, it will be a totally new map. I hope next time, which is 5.8, they go pack to GAA because that map was something else. The new players surely missed out. Anyway, moving on from that to the redeem codes. Here you go. If I don't have all the codes on the screen, I will make sure to include them in the comments. I'll have a different video on the Natlan trailer, which is me reacting to it and also just analyzing it for fun. That's all for this video. As always, I just wanted to update the banner news and also the redeem codes and stuff. Also today, Genshin released another developer post talking about new updates. I will make a separate video on this, but the TLDR of it is that you can do tomorrow's daily commission today. Bosses will respawn much faster after you defeat them, and you can hide your dialogue, UI, Haudi, and everything else while exploring, talking, or in a quest. So you get to take screenshots or record them properly. For new players who find the game hard, they are making it easier. Again, I will make a dedicated video talking about these changes because they are really good. So yeah, that was everything. Who are you wishing for in 4.8, or are you saving? So what do you think? Comment down your thoughts, and while you are at it, like and sub too. Oh, and turn on the notifications as well so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day, everyone.